The funniest thing to me about the whole thing, guys, is that Penn State will make the playoff now. When? But probably the first year because everybody so makes next year. it now. Uh, everybody Every, gets uh, in. Every, it's like oh, less, participation. Less than 10% of the FBS that will make Ari's it. Give it's no like the Oprah now. show. Everybody's got a gift under their seat, okay? But <laughs> you get a playoff spot. You, you get, get a playoff, playoff spot. <laughs> you get a playoff spot. It's what it is. And the thing that is so funny to me is that Penn State will still never be able to accomplish anything without doing the thing that they have proven they cannot do now, which is beat the elite teams. Like, like it's gonna it's either gonna you're, it's either gonna happen in the regular season and you're gonna earn your way into the four team field or you're gonna lose those teams in the regular season and then meet them again and get your ass kicked again. So until they're actually good enough to beat those teams, they're never gonna be satisfied. They might be satisfied for the first two or three years when they get to be a playoff team, but playoffs? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you have to beat the, the teams that are actually in the playoff now eventually. And you think it maybe this year? Maybe it'll be this year. But I will say I think this, more so Audrey, next year than this year, but if Penn State good. makes the playoff this year, which okay. is a distinct possibility, right? It could happen. It's, I mean, th- it, we're talking preseason top 10 team. But if they do. If your quarterback is what you think he is, yeah. which is a big if because you didn't get to see enough of him last year. And if Penn State does make the playoff this year, that feeling for that fan base will be so euphoric that you okay. can't even possibly compare what making the 12 team field will feel like. And I think that to me is the essence of striving for greatness, but 12 team field, you host a playoff game. How much would that town absolutely? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah, think the awesome. hotels are expensive yeah. now. They're going to host a playoff. Buddy, you hope you get into Altoona. Penn state is held. And like, you know what it's very similar to? Do you remember what I was like when Michigan stunk? Uh, yeah, like, insufferable. Yeah, sure. I know, but like always like talking about how, more so than usual, <laughs> how they should be demanding more. Yes, 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 yes. And now it's happening. Yes. And it's like, Oh my God, maybe I wasn't full of shit that whole time. I also think that it's possible that like Penn state should be held to that same standard. Now, not all three Penn state, Ohio state and Michigan state, even, uh, in Michigan can all be good at the same time. Right. But I do That's think four. that Penn state <laughs> and Wisconsin, but that Penn state can, be on the Michigan's current level, level. Yeah. but it has to happen. And I don't think that altering the rules is going to be the reason why it happens. They're going to have to break through and actually Yeah, because you're going to keep yeah. playing no, this and, and here comes USC and UCLA. Right, and your fans are not going to be satisfied unless you're competing for Big Ten titles and competing for national yeah. titles. Like that That's the thing about Penn State. Making the playoff, you think it'll be good enough for 10 years. I don't. I think it'll be good enough for one year, but then you'd better get to the semis or you'd better get to the final. Like the you, you better move through the playoff. The they semis. haven't gotten into the semis. They haven't the semis. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, good luck beating Georgia, Penn State. Well, we'll, uh, well, well they might not play Georgia yeah, till the that's, semis. Yeah, that's how yeah. seeding works. Sorry. No, I know. I'm saying that to the one loss or two loss Georgia team that's seeded six. My yeah. thing is, and I've been saying this since probably about 16 when Penn State went on the run when they had the year they beat Ohio State. Yeah. Um, you're going to have these windows, and when that window is open, you're going to maybe have two cracks at Ohio State and Michigan. Those are your chances. Those are the years that you have to capitalize on, and that's why for Penn State, I think 17 was such a downfall for that program because you had Ohio State on the rope. Because I remember you jinxed it because you came up to me and I was said, like, what are you going to write about? I thought, well, I, thought, I, thought, the, I thought that game was, was over, too. the Rose Bowl. Sorry I didn't see the 19-point comeback yeah. in the final um, six minutes. <laughs> like To me, that is one of those massive yeah. turning points for the program. But this feels like this is one of those opportunities that's opening up. So you have a really good shot to take a swing this year and next year. And if it doesn't happen in those two years, you're still going to be in the mix in the field of 12. But you're going to think it feels a little bit watered down. I'm sure some fans are going to agree with that. Because it will be watered down. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be watered down. But if you get in... Then you got to make. You know what? Noise. You're going to be happy when your team wins and moves on. Like yep. that's going to be a great yeah, feeling for a week. Game it's going to feel like crap when you lose the next week. Yeah. But it'll. Fe- you know who's going to feel great the next week? The team that wins and yeah. moves on. You know what's? Aw- it's almost know. as if a bracketed tournament is a very exciting way to finish a season. Kind of crazy, right? <laughs> um, Andy, I was going to say though, like, I also kind of feel for Penn State because, like. They play in the hardest division in college football or the second hardest, depending on the year. And it's like, oh, so in order for Penn State to be happy this year, they have to beat Michigan when they're up. This this sucks. This removes that impediment. Yeah. This way. Well, it it delays it. But well, no, but when the window opens, sometimes they're still not or they're equal to Ohio State Mm -hmm. and maybe they lose a coin flip game. Yeah. 
this gives him another crack at it. And I think that was so much of like, again, going back to 16, like this is a team that the arguments there could have, should have made the playoff then. If that happens in 16, we're probably not having this conversation. I mean, Ari probably still If this happens in 16, Penn State goes to the playoff instead of Ohio State and then loses 31 to nothing to Clemson. So, like, it doesn't matter. Like It does matter because you got in the playoff, right? It, yeah, like, no, I'm saying, matters. like, in terms, it, it would have mattered for, like, they're making it for sure. I and didn't want to say that. Have seven Ari, Ari's like me. He's turned into me. He's gone completely Ricky Bobby on this. Yeah. You ain't first, you're last. <laughs> like, it's like, it doesn't matter because you, you would lose 31 nothing to Clemson. No, no, Never no, mind no. the one month infomercial for your program. I have to yeah. say that that was wrong. I didn't mean that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> making the playoff for Penn State would have been a monumental shift because I think that making the playoff in the four team field is something that you could hang a banner for. You, you imagine like, those, those yeah. recruiting graphics that would have been coming out with. Barkley on them and Penn State in the playoff. Because like I don't like the thing that's I can just see it now. It's like there will be a team and it might be Penn State or it might not be that makes the twelve team field like seven years in a row and never advances (laughs) or advances one game and they're going to have these recruiting graphics. Always the bridesmaid, never the seven time. (laughs) See, here's the thing, Ari. Consecutive playoff birth. Ari still stinks. Audrey, Audrey, not a win. (laughs) It's like Ari's never watched a single elimination tournament before. No. I, I, we, <laughs> like, we don't know what he's watching. There's a lot of randomness in. There's less randomness in football. I agree, but there is still some randomness. This is the same, yeah. and not everybody's Georgia. This is, this is why they play this the games. The this is the same debate that we got into the in the lobby when I was screaming last night at midnight in the lobby of our hotel about Georgia TCU. And this is it's like I, I think that round it's like, security yeah. said. Guys, it's speaking of randomness, if TCU and Michigan played 50 more times, how many times yeah. does TCU win? But if TCU played Georgia a million times, would they win zero? They would win zero. Because yeah. that's the argument. They didn't play Georgia. They didn't get matched you're against Georgia. The ran- you're saying the randomness of the football. Yeah, it is when the talent is equitable. It's not random. When it's- that talent wasn't equitable between TCU and Michigan. I would say that they were probably pretty. They were closer. Yeah. I mean, I but if you get closer, you have a chance. Are getting hazard pay this week for having to listen to all of this in their public spaces. Are <laughs> you ranting at midnight? But are you with yeah, me? I, 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 you I, what I understand saying? what you're saying. I do understand what you're saying, right? Okay. Once you get in the playoff, you got to make some noise because eventually people aren't just going to be satisfied with, hey, you made the playoff. But, but Penn I, State isn't there yet. I, right. And I'm not assuming when they get there, they won't make any noise. Like, that's the thing. Well, the Aries can. That's, this is no, the no, beautiful no. mystery of it all. We don't know what's going to happen. I think that if Penn State, when they get to the 12 team playoff, is fortunate enough to get a path where they avoid the big dogs, they could get to the semifinal based on, on, the same way that TCU got to the championship game this year, an advantageous path that worked out in their favor. What I don't think Penn State will be able to do until they do it is beat the teams that they failed to beat year after year after year in the current setup. So, like, if they have to play Georgia for some reason or Ohio State or even Michigan, they're probably not going to win because James Franklin's teams have proven they, they aren't very good at winning those games now. Like even when you know whose teams weren't good at winning those games? Are you going to say Georgia? Because no, okay. I'm going to say Jim Harbaugh's teams weren't good at winning those games until they started winning those games. Yeah, two of them in a row. Yeah, yeah, that counts. That has happened. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's great. But then Ari wants all of them. You don't no, just no, get the, one. The next all one, that, that one kind of. Oh, they lost to TCU. That's right. They stink again. I'm sorry. They don't stink. They Participation don't stink. trophies. Yeah. Here they come. But they could. I think that they would have played Georgia better. They definitely would have. And I think that like them losing to TCU is a shame. It, it was. Yeah. But. You're 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 writing off Penn State before any of this has no, ever happened. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying they can never get there. Like I if they get there by beating Georgia, I would be shocked. All I'm the only thing and the main point that I want to make clear is Penn State could be the same exact program that it's been for the past 10 years for the next 10 and make the playoffs seven times. But that doesn't mean they're better. And the only way that they'll ever be better is by beating the teams yeah. that they failed to beat already. And and their fans are smart enough to know that. Uh, yeah, like they understand I that. Know. I don't know. I, and I'm, I, that's true. But I think that being involved in the playoff changes perception, even if it's the same result. Nope. It, you're going to get the benefit of, hey, again, you called it with the graphics. You're going to be seeing a lot of recruiting graphics oh, that yeah. we made the playoff. But blah, it, blah. it's just like making the NCAA basketball tournament. Some programs, like if you make yeah. the NCAA basketball tournament, that means the coach is safe. He's not on hot seat anymore. Or if it's uh, Penn State, right. last two times they made the tournament and played a game, the coach left. Exactly. You don't want to make But other programs, awesome. like if you're the coach at Kansas and all you do is make it and you never get past the first weekend, you will get fired. Yeah. Like Bill Self doesn't do that. Bill Self, didn't. they, they didn't get out of the first weekend this year, but they won the national title the year before. Like, 
But at what point people does adjust State their expectations? Their, yeah. Given Franklin's contract, at what point does that? Uh, that's just know? math. Because I think that's that just math, and they're about to get a big cash money, infusion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it really, you don't need to think about that right now, mm-hmm. as it feels like the arrow is pointing up, coming off ten and two, where you're it, the the dude comparison. I don't it's even know there. if that's a term it's, we use, but, it's there. but the dude comparison dude, between. Penn State, Michigan, and Ohio State feels closer than it has in years right now. It should, yeah. I I mean, I think you look at, again, when is the last time, and it sounds crazy because Ari didn't get to see him play enough last year, but when have you felt this optimistic about a Penn State quarterback, Penn State running back, a really good tight end room, and oh, by the way, an offensive line that was good last year, which we have not said that a lot around here, uh, was good last year, probably is the best offensive tackle in college football this year. Mm -hmm. That's a lot to build around. I'm looking at their schedule and I can't find a loss. I'm going to say that in every. <laughs> <laughs> so we're recording oh God, these in us. advance, by the way. God I have no help. At this point, I have no idea if if you've heard the Jesse Temple, Wisconsin episode. Yeah. But this is Ari's thing. When we talk to a beat writer, I can't find a loss. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, I mean. Open it up with West Virginia. Ari can't find a loss. There's no like it's like funny because like you guys have, have kind of made it feel like I'm writing Penn State off. Because you like, keep doing it. But like Penn State beating Ohio State has been there for the taking all yeah. but what, two and years since the beginning it. of the Urban I mean, Meyer even, era? Even if you so it's not like year. they get their ass kicked. Like they're in those games. And like every single year, the spread is like 17 and a half, and Ohio State only wins by six or nine or something. And it's just like, they're right there. Um, by the way, this year, if Penn state is a 17 and a half point underdog, to Ohio state, I'm hammering the points. 